whether or not you are an art aficionado, you are going to appreciate what's happening right now at the Winnipeg Art Gallery with masterworks from the Beaverbrook Art Gallery and some of the pieces on display from Salvatore Dali. To tell us a little bit more about that guy, I want to reintroduce you to Andrew from the Winnipeg Art Gallery. Uh, set it up. Who was this Dali guy and why was he important? Salvatore Dali was born in Spain around 1904. He uh, went to school in Madrid but really got his start in Paris as a member of the Surrealist group in the 1930s. Uh, but he eventually um, went off to America where he became this larger than life figure um, uh, and basically was a, a precursor to Andy Warhol and the pop art, mo pop art movement. Um, and uh, he died in 1989, but his legacy lives on. And in display in its full splendor uh, here right now. So uh, a little bit later on, we're going to talk about Dali up close, but this is an amazing uh, piece from the Beaverbrook collection. Can you tell us about this work of art? Yeah, this is the really the reason we have Dali up close. Um, it's from the Master from the Beaverbrook Art Gallery. It's called Santiago El Grande. It depicts the patron saint of Spain, uh, and it was exhibited in 1957 in Brussels. And uh, basically, Dali offered it to the. Um, to the people who would eventually give it to the uh, Beaverbrook Art Gallery in 1959. And it's amazing to behold this in person. I mean, seeing it on TV, no matter how big your screen is, and is not going to do this thing justice. This thing is four meters tall. How do you even get a piece of art like this inside of the gallery? Uh, well, we ha yeah, we struggled with this one. We got it about uh, maybe about 30 feet, uh, 40 feet from the uh, uh, gallery space, and then we had to uncrate it. And basically, there was about seven of, seven of us who had to walk it very carefully into the gallery and, and hang it on the wall. Like the most careful furniture moving crew ever. Um, you guys uh, must have had some major talent uh, to get this thing in place. And this is a great way to set up um, right as you enter Dali up close, the exhibit um, with some amazing pieces from Salvatore Dali, including one that has never been seen before, right? Really, it has been seen very rarely in public. Um, it was painted in 1962. It's called The Vision of Hell. And it was basically for 50 years uh, hidden underneath the, the bed of a nun. What? <laughs> Until it was unearthed and became, uh, and is now in a private collection in the States. But uh, the two weeks prior to the exhibition, we contacted the owner and we were lucky enough to get it here uh, in time for the opening. Wow, what a great find. You guys did all of this work and all this research and we just get to cruise down to the Winnipeg Art Gallery and take it in nice and leisurely. Yeah, we, we try to make it look effortless. All right, and just before uh, we wrap it up, uh, tell us a little bit more about the other things that we're going to see when we go inside of Dali up close. Oh, there's an early surrealist painting. There's some of his more pop uh, art uh, oriented works. And there's a really nice selection, fantastically funny selection of photographs of Dali taken with the uh, photographer Philip Halsman. Ah, some really neat things to look forward to right now at the Winnipeg Art Gallery. Andrew, thanks so much. My pleasure. Uh, if you uh, want to connect with the Art Gallery to get down here, get the hours and locations, you can uh, connect with them through the BT website at breakfasttelevision.ca for more information.